as I'm sure you can understand, this is a very sensitive topic. Yes, absolutely. An important part of justice for the victims was seeing your husband be sent to prison. Of course. But there are still bodies missing. We still need to find them. And you're here again to find out if I have any additional information. As you know, a lot of the victims were very wealthy. I didn't I... profit from my husband's crimes. That's a disgusting accusation. I didn't make an accusation. I merely no, stated What my fact. husband is alleged to have done to those poor victims is circumstantial. Not alleged. He did the crimes. It's already been proven. I appreciate that's your point of view. But I think we both know a lot of what went on in that courtroom was crooked. And... Where are the bodies? If you thought I was withholding information about dead bodies, you'd have put me in prison. You're not as far from that as you think. Then lock me up and throw away the key. Where are they? I haven't the foggiest. I understand why you're here and what you think you can know based on your truth. It happened. It's a fact. It's bullshit. Like the first supposed victim I've never even met. You met her on February the 22nd, 2020, then you invited her back to your flat. Give me a week and I can prove this is all a lie. No. We're publishing tomorrow. Uh, I've not been arrested. None of these women have even been to the police. Adam, they've all been to the police. What are you talking about? This is really happening. This is going to be in the paper and by tomorrow evening it'll be national news. National news because seven girls said I sent them creepy messages. It's more than messages and it's more than seven women. This is all a misunderstanding. I can quote you on that. All these women are liars. That you could print. When asked for comment, Adam Clayhall said these women are all liars. They're all liars. Good luck. So, I've got all these old vinyl records that were my mum's, and I'd love it if you had Don't some do news. Don't do this. What? It's too early. Well, I'm just giving you some old records. You're going to have the operation, and then you'll be fine. They're not going to operate again. I told you that. Right, but you're still doing chemo and radio and... Jenny. Well, I'm just saying. It's over. I can't go through chemotherapy again. And if I did that radiotherapy, they'd be zapping that right onto my brain and I can't afford to lose any more brain cells. Yeah, not that I ever had any brain cells. <laughs> yeah, well, I can see that from your taste in music. Oi! God. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I am. For you. Come here, love.